Hey guys, and welcome back to me painting something random again. So I was actually thinking that instead of me just talking through what I'm doing, which might get a bit repetitive from one video to the next, because it starts, it's pretty much the same thing. I'll tell you some stories throughout that have for some reason engraved in my mind. I remember them out of everything else. I'm going to just start off by talking about what I'm doing and then I'll get to the story. So let's start with the painting. And as you have seen, I've started off doing the same thing, blocking in the background and then the glass of tea and I'm going back and forth the colours until I'm happy with it and in this painting it took a bit longer than I thought it would because it was hard to get those right colours. So this story that I wanted to talk about were, happened about 11 years ago when we went on holiday to Sri Lanka and usually we stay at our grandparents house and then we go explore the places around there but this time we decided to go and visit some new places and explore those places. In this particular place that we were going to go to, my mum already had a friend that was living there and they invited us to come, you know, to stay with them. So we get there with all our stuff and luggage and everything and then we get there and then we knock on the door but nobody answers it because it's locked and nobody's home. So we kind of end up waiting an hour outside waiting for them to come and when they finally arrived I remember as a child thinking that the house looked very unkept and as if nobody lives there, which was kind of strange. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then at this time, it was getting quite late, so we just put our stuff away and then we all got in our beds. Now I was getting ready to have some nice sleep after our long day and I look up and I see two beady eyes staring back at me and of course I start screaming and my parents rush in thinking, you know, why is she screaming? What's happened? And they see it's a gecko and they just reassure me it's a gecko, you know, they have it in hot countries, it's normal. Yeah, which didn't make me feel any better, but they shoot it away anyways. So the main thing happened to my little sister, who at the time was three years old and she still drank formula milk. So in the morning, my mum got hot water ready and started, you know, preparing some for her. So she left a cup of hot water on the table to cool down so, you know, she doesn't burn her mouth. You know, my little sister thought it was a great idea to go next to the hot water and watch it cool down for some reason. And the next thing we know is we hear screaming. And it's not the screaming that kids do when they're wanting attention, but it's the screaming that you know that you've been hurt. So we run in and we see that the water has poured all over her foot. And we're wondering how, did she knock it over? What like what happened? And that's when you realise that the table only had three legs. Of course it was missing a leg of all things. So we rush her to the hospital, but thankfully she was fine because the water was pretty cooled down at that point. But she only got some minor burns. But she actually has a scar on her big toe from that day. But that's pretty much it. I think what we've learned from this story is always check how many legs a table has before you put a cup of hot water on it. Um, let's get back to the painting. And as you can see, I keep going back and forth. I keep changing the colour of the tea because I couldn't get it quite right how the light was shining through it. I keep going back and forth. And generally, I thought the spoon was going to be the hardest thing to do because I've never painted silverware before and they just seem so complicated but they pretty much have like precise colours in precise places and it's a lot easier to do than the gradient of the tea. I think it's really funny how I actually don't remember anything else from the trip except this story which I don't know what that says about me. I have a really weird tendency to remember the weirdest things like I will remember what I was thinking while eating breakfast in like 2007 but I completely forgot that my sister got attacked by a goat which I think is a story for another time. Um, I'm gonna have to ask my parents and my sister what actually happened because I don't remember what happened like I genuinely don't which I find really weird. But thank you guys for watching till the end and I'll be back next time with another painting and another story. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and tell me about any weird stories that happened to you with hot beverages or while you were on holiday. Have a great day and goodbye.